Dutch Kaiser. Uh, you guys would love them. They are a kill. I don't, want to, I don't want to say killer survivor, man. But they're a content creator that makes some really insightful, interesting videos. Insightful, interesting videos. Insightful, interesting, insightful, insightful. What's another euphemism for getting pegged? A while back, I made a video called the Otsudarva Problem. It was a video discussing the habit of the DVD community to just kind of accept the words of big content creators at face value, never really forming their own opinions and instead parroting whatever they heard without much thought. I named this video the Yacht's Darver Problem because at the time it was something I had only seen with him. And to this day, it is mainly Ots that people blindly parrot whenever he has an opinion. This video had no hate toward Ots. I had one disagreement with him on Gideon's meat plant as an example of saying that just because someone has the hours and the experience doesn't mean they are always right. I ended up having to delete that video due to the constant harassments and death threats because people read the title, immediately called me a clout chaser, starting drama, and didn't go further than that. Many people accusing me of attacking Ots when I was actually making a broader discussion about forming your own opinion and how that goes. I found out much later, Otz actually saw that video and felt I made fair points in it. He never took any offense to it, and I found out later that Otz actually watches my videos from time to time, which is an ego boost that confuses the part of me that hates myself. I originally was going to make this video one about the community not thinking for themselves, but instead I wanted to talk more broadly about the worship of content creators as a whole. The best place to start would probably be, once again, Ots Darva himself, a titan in the DVD community. Ots was once described to me as THE quintessential Dead by Daylight creator. Essentially the DVD creator above the rest. Anyone who even has a passing interest in Dead by Daylight community knows who Ots Darva is, and if you don't, it won't take long for you to find out. And I love Otz. I've admired his unwavering support of marginalized groups, which is something you don't see in a lot of big time creators. His patience with teaching the game to people and his consistent ability to entertain no matter what he's doing, as well as his dedication to making nine hour videos on this game is insane. I feel truly if you are going to admire anyone in this game, it should be Otz. When it comes to Otz's opinions, I can honestly say I don't always agree. To bring up the Gideons thing again, a while back Otz made a video where he said Gideons is a killer side map and I fundamentally disagree with that. He said during the MFT era that the speed wasn't the problem and it was actually the endurance you get from healing and I disagreed with that as well. In fact, run me through a line of Odds Darva videos and I'll probably find plenty to disagree with. I've made a couple of videos disagreeing with Hens, I've disagreed with Scott Jund, and the more you go into it, the more you'll find me disagreeing with bigger and bigger creators. My first problem with a lot of people is they see disagreements as personal attacks on their favorite creators. It's a bizarre thing, to say the least. I mean, realistically speaking, I find it odd how some people just can't take simple disagreements over a fucking video game. More so, how disagreements are seen as an attack on your character or your intelligence. If I say, I think Hins is wrong about Billy being an S tier because, insert reasons here, that does not equate to, Hins is a dumb fuck who knows nothing and is so stupid he failed the GED and I am much more intellectually superior than him. Fuck you, you little blue bastard. <laughs> That's not how reality or language works. But a lot of this problem comes from the pedestal content creators are put upon, and that's the crux of my original video. Content creators are humans, like the rest of us. Whenever Otz makes any kind of video expressing his opinion on the game, there's this weird group of people who pop up from the piles of shit like unhygienic prairie dogs to loudly lambast Otz for the videos he makes, saying dumb shit like, why can't he just leave this prick alone? Or, oh my god, here he goes talking about the get this again. And like, yeah. It's kind of his fucking job. Why is it you are allowed to have opinions about the game, but the moment Otz does it, it's a problem? The opposite side of this coin is people who worship creators, parroting every opinion as if it's fact, and this is one of my core issues. I hate trying to have discussions about Dead by Daylight with most people because it's nearly impossible without wanting to slam my dick in a sliding glass door out of frustration. But one of my most hated sentences is, well, Otz Darva said, Okay, cool. I don't care. I like Ots. I watch Ots. But just because he says something, it doesn't make it fact. And I really wish people would start thinking for themselves. Content creators, in our opinions, should always be used to inform your opinions, not dictate them. I never, ever 
want to see someone linking a video of mine and going, well, actually, you're wrong because Kaiser said differently. Because outside of factual discussions like numbers or effects, I should not be your one point of consideration when it comes to opinions about the game, nor should any creator. It's infuriating when people cannot argue for themselves and their opinions. I get it if you aren't knowledgeable about a subject, then you might choose to shut up because honestly, that's what we should do. I do it all the time, in fact. But if you don't know enough about something to speak on it, then simply don't speak on it. You should never be knee deep in an argument or discussion and suddenly go, well, you're wrong because my favorite content creator, Diddle Dick McLarge, said you're wrong because that's not a valid way to approach discussion. Referencing someone as a way to make your point more clear, like, well, as this person put it, and then directly quoting them and then stating the opinion you had is fine. But the amount of times I'll say something like, for example, Trapper is the worst killer in the game, and someone goes, I'm um, actually, Ot said Freddy is the worst killer in the game, and he has more hours than you, so you're wrong wrong is insane. And that's another thing. The argument of, well, I have more hours than you, so you're wrong, is so fucking weird. Hours, for what they are, are cool for measuring general knowledge. But like I said back in my Do Hours Actually Matter video, after a certain point, they stop mattering as a unit of how much you know, and further than that, they also don't mean an automatic correctness. When it comes to content creators, we make videos on our opinions because we like the game, and the point of my videos is always open discussions about the game. It's about everyone having a place to talk about certain certain subjects while everyone stays in a certain playing field. I make these videos because I have a passion for this game and speaking on it, and I really wish we could actually talk about it without people constantly attempting to shut down conversations with lame ass, you don't have as many hours, or well, you're just an entitled blank main, or whatever. And the consistent need of people to speak as if the opinions of their favorite content creators are facts is one of the main things that makes talking about this game so difficult. Stop worshipping content creators. It's a bad thing to do, not only for the world of discussion, but also because it's gonna hurt you real fucking bad when they turn out to just be a human being. And I'm not even talking about the weird, creepy, like legitimately egregious shit, like Dr. Diddler or Cody Pedo. I'm talking about how we as creators are just people. We are real people with feelings, motivations, flaws, more. Very often, I get people talking about me in this really weird way where they almost remove me of my flaws. It makes me incredibly uncomfortable. They talk about how I'm wholesome and super kind and all these other things, but in reality, I'm very open about things like sex, and I've even had an entire Google Doc made about me where my main crime was essentially just being horny on main, all because people chose to pretend like I'm some sort of family-friendly creator, even when I've been very open about sex and making raunchy jokes and things on this channel. People say they can't understand why people don't like me, but I know it's because I'm a brave very straightforward with my feelings for someone, whether it's going to hurt them or not. I don't tolerate anyone's shit, regardless or if they're a supporter of mine. I'm anything but wholesome, and very often the way I express my opinions can seem very aggressive, or even be very aggressive. This idolization of content creators leads to a lot of problems, and it's one of the reasons many content creators, including myself, keep their audience at an arm's length, only engaging in public discords or in comment sections and such. It's not to be mean or because we aren't appreciative of the love and support, but because it's very uncomfortable when people talk about you as some sort of idol instead of a regular human being. The way y'all attach yourselves to us and treat us as nothing short of gods is incredibly disconnected from reality. Some of you even go as far as to form parasocial relationships, thinking you know us on a deep personal level, one that not even some of our closest friends know us on, and it needs to stop. I have even had to make a rule within my public discord that is an automatic ban if you break it that you cannot add me as a friend, because far too many people think that because they watch my content, enjoy my content, or talk with me on Twitch or something like that, that now we're friends and we're not. I know I say what's up friend and how you doing friend, but that's just to be nice guys. At the end of the day, I am a creator and you are the viewer, and that's a relationship that needs to stay that way. There should never be a scenario where you are coming to me for close personal problems because that's not what I'm here for. I'll admit this video started off not this deep, one about the constant worship of the word of content creators, but the longer the words flew onto the page, the more I realized that the original issue I had comes from a worship of content creators themselves, and that, in the end, is pretty much the entire problem. 
the more and more that I go and write this script, the more and more that I start to realize that this whole thing where people just kind of take content creators' words and use them as facts, or when people are very, very, very volatile, whenever you do so much as even criticize the behavior of another content creator that they might happen to like, or even if you just outward say you don't like another content creator, all stems from this weird worshiping and idolization of those content creators. And I really need you guys to understand that content creators are just people and we want to be treated as such. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It really went a direction that I wasn't really planning, but you know, at the end of the day, it is a video that I feel needs to be made. So it's a video that I'm making. And as always, a great big special thank you to my channel members listed on screen. Now, if you want to find out how to become a channel member today, get awesome perks like seeing videos early, merch discount codes, and more then please click that join button down below. I appreciate you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. If you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, then check out my other channel, Kaiser the Bard, where I do things like discuss the game, give you DM and player tips, and more. We'll see you over there. Link is in the description.